how to save up to $5,000 in just one right? year. So these are my best tips for anybody out there. And I like to say I'm a lazy saver. You gotta keep it simple. So mm -hmm. what I love is Amazon. Um, I love their subscription cart. I know you have. Their subscription cart, which is completely free, Rachel, right? If you put five items every month into it, and so keep in mind, I have little kids, everything from paper towels to diapers to your cleaning products, shampoo, conditioner, right? You will save 15 to 20% simply by having them delivered to you for free. It's a free service. And on average, the person spends $108 on what I like to call the boring basics, the toilet paper, the paper towels, the And the stuff the that cleaning. you always run out of and then you're embarrassed. And then you're right? running yeah. to go buy it. So not only does this put time back in your pocket, but on average, that's gonna save you about $250 a year. And I swear by it. The so next one that I love is called Honey. And so Honey is a really simple plugin. You can get it on your desktop. You can download it onto your phone. It's a free app. And anytime you go shopping online, just with Honey running in the background, it pulls all of the coupons across the internet. And then, so for example, huh. here you are, you're buying something for your toolbox. $5 is saved and it goes right there. And it takes 10 seconds to download. And again, it's free. Um, that on average saves people $125 a year right there. It's a free app, download it. Again, more money back in your pocket with no effort. Brilliant. Which, which I love. So the next one that we're gonna go through, so Rachel, we've talked a lot about this. I hate wasting money on things that make no sense. Vampire Electronics, which is all the electronics in your house when they're plugged in, they're just zapping your, your electronics exactly. bill, right? Your electricity bill. But worse, it's not good for the planet. Um, and so one of the things that we swear by are these surge protectors. They're really inexpensive. But so if we go through, on average, your computer, when it's plugged in because it's sleeping, is still pulling the electricity. That's $25 a year just sitting there when it's plugged in. Things like your digital cable box, $23 a year. And so by simply using these devices, you can put $150 back into your pocket. This is the big pocket. one. These are super inexpensive and they also will protect your computer and your cable box and all that stuff from uh, being damaged during a power surge. That is exactly right. And I think that the major takeaway for me is it's also good for the environment. That's so it's right. like, you're not only saving, but at a time like this, when we all want to protect the planet, it's awesome. So I love it. That's a triple, um, triple threat Speaking there. of uh, your cable box. So right now, the average person in the country spends $150 per month on their cable bill. And with all of the incredible technologies that we're seeing from Hulu, which is $40 per month, or if you think about um, YouTube online, which is, uh, in many cases can even be free. What we're finding is $150 per month versus $40 per month. You can save $1,000 per year right there with very little effort. And what we're finding is everybody's cutting the cable. And so right there, lots of money back Tons in your of pocket. Money, right. And then I wanna transition to one of my most favorite tips. All of us have a little bit of free time. And now we live in a world where anybody can monetize it. So with this gig economy, you have not just the Ubers and the ability to drive, but you have companies like TaskRabbit, which are available everywhere, where if you have any skills of any kind, if you wanna go help somebody put together their Ikea bench that they need help with, if you wanna help somebody paint a bench. You if, can monetize if your you hobby. tutor, if you're a right. soccer coach, right. if you teach guitar lessons, all of it, the average person is earning $100 $50 per month, which is $1,800 a year of money back into your pocket that you can put into your savings account, you can help pay for your kid's college, and whatever And everybody has a hobby. Those hobbies are actual skills and you can offer them to other people and get paid for it. And also people love it. It's like people right. love being useful. And so we even um, at Inspired Capital, my firm, we invested in a company called Umbrella, which helps people pay to go help their neighbors. So if you have somebody above the age of 60 who needs somebody to fix a light bulb because they can't climb up on a ladder and you'll make $15 an hour, which is amazing. And you get to help out your neighbor. It's fantastic. So it's called Umbrella. And then yeah. the final thing, which is one of my personal resolutions this year, which is the average family spends $3,300 $65 eating out every year. I know I am like part of that set. We are trying so hard not to do it. But if you simply just cut eating out in half and you eat in one to two more nights a week, and just again, I was telling her I was using How a little How about you make a couple 30 minute meals? <laughs> On Sundays, I cook two meals, I put them in the fridge. That's my new resolution. I cook new ahead resolution. too, that's great advice. Wh whatever day you have the most amount of time, cook ahead a couple of meals, you'll eat more fresh food at home. But that's yes. $1,700 back in your pocket. And with very few super simple tips and under an hour of basic effort, that's $5,025 back into your pocket. Boom!